I'm going to start with a piece of hair that's about an inch long. And like I said before, if you look at this end of the hair, it's a little darker right here. Now we're going to tie the twin tail Madonna. The uh, Madonna went through several changes in its development. And the cone head, it's basically there. I use it mostly when I'm in pocket water where there's a lot of turbulence to the water. I need the fly to break that film a little faster. Uh, it's, and it's just a real versatile fly. What we're going to tie is a stacked blonde. Uh, this is about the most simple fly I've ever tied. It's just a couple, it's got bucktail in it and it's got marabou in it. Not much marabou, it's mostly just bucktail. You know, laid in one, two, three. But when they, when you pull them all back and they're laid back against the hook, when they get wet, it's all going to be one big kind of mass like this fly is. The fly we're going to tie right now is called the Zoo Cougar. Of all the flies I've ever tied, designed, stoled, I don't care what, this is by far the most popular fly I've ever had. But if you have to put two, you know, it's a small one, and then put another thicker one over top of it if you have to. I, uh, what we're going to tie now is uh, the, my crayfish pattern, it's just called the Gallop's Craw. Uh, I'm just going to palmer this forward through this, through the muskrat. And I swim really quickly in really short bursts, usually uh, a foot to three foot max. But what you've got here is you've got the, the shell back, you know, of the carpus, and then you've got the, the pinchers hanging down there. You've got a very slim profile on the back. And when it flips over, what you've got is a nice creamy underside. And the creamy underside is critical. I mean, that's what I talked about earlier.